Today we're going to make this fairy lantern from a mason jar. So you'll need some milk glass paint, a paintbrush, some fairy lights, and some flowers. Here we're using sunflowers for a fall feel. So the milk glass paint actually gives you a slightly see-through finish once you finish your project. So you just want to pour some of that out, of course shake it well before pouring, and then use a paintbrush to apply to the mason jar. Now, you want your mason jar to be clean before you paint it, and this applies any time when you're painting a mason jar. I like to clean mine with rubbing alcohol, allow it to dry, and then paint as shown here. One trick is to insert your hand into the top of the mason jar when painting so that you can paint the entire mason jar at one time, and then just allow to dry upside down. Now, you can do one or two coats of this paint. I found that one coat was, was fine, and but two coats you could definitely add. Just make sure that you can still see through it because you want to be able to see those lights once you add them. Because after all, this is a fairy lantern and you want to be able to see that glow. So paint the entire thing, set aside to dry completely, and then add a second coat if you would like. Now, this is how you paint the entire jar in one setting. You just put it upside down on your surface and paint the bottom. Then, when everything is dry, you just need to add some kind of lights. This is a battery operated light pack. You can add Christmas lights, you can add battery operated tea lights, literally any kind of battery, battery operated light can be added to the inside of this mason jar. And you can see that you can see the lights through the paint and then you just add your flowers. So here I'm adding some flowers for a slightly fall theme, but this project works for any season. So add in the flowers of your choice, as many as you would like, and then your fairy lantern in a mason jar is complete. 